Hey y'all, what is up? So y'all are probably wondering what I am doing right now. Um, and if you have any concerns uh, when it comes to virtual learning and manual skills, well, you can do something similar to what I am doing, okay? What I'm doing is whenever we review a certain topic and it applies or is related to a manual skill, um, what I'm doing is making up a skills supplies packet specifically for that skill. So today, for instance, um, in my three classes, uh, we talked about hand hygiene and well we really didn't talk about hand well yeah we did we talked about hand hygiene that wasn't the lecture for the day but i like to start on my skills early my manual skills early so i usually just start out with hand hygiene and ppe right so after today's lecture that's exactly what we did i went and i talked about hand hygiene and um just briefly spoke about uh infection control and isolation precautions and PPE, right? I demonstrated to them um, how to perform. Uh, I, I'm trying, sorry, I'm trying to see. Okay, yeah, it is recording. It didn't look like it was recording. But I, I demonstrated to them how to perform hand hygiene uh, the way Prometric wants test aid candidates to perform according to CDC guidelines. And then I also demonstrated to them how to um, uh, uh, don and remove PPE, just the gown and gloves. Um, I did let them know about the different uh, PPE items that need uh, to be worn with, you know, each particular um, isolation precaution. But, um, you know, like I said, I just, uh, you know, demonstrated the gown and gloves with them. Um, so anyways, these are the packages. Yes, these are the packages and you yourself can do this. Now I know um, for your CNA, I believe that they're actually selling um, supply packages for like $69, $70, right? But why spend all that money? I mean, especially if you have a boatload of students, right? Spending $70 per students when you can actually utilize the supplies um, that you have in your lab, right? Um, and it's gonna come out to be so much cheaper, right? Instead of paying $70 per child, you're probably only gonna be spending anywhere from 12 to $15 per child, if that, right? If that, when you use your own supplies. So what do I have um, in my uh, PPE kit um, for the students? I actually have uh, three gowns, okay, one, two, three isolation gowns. So that will give them um, at least, you know, twice they can practice. They can actually reuse, uh, you know, two of the gowns because I told them save one gown and one pair of gloves for evaluation, right? For me to evaluate you. But the other two pairs, I mean, the other two gowns, um, they can, you know, reuse. They can go to the store and buy a box of gloves for like five or six dollars. Um, but I have the three gowns and then I have the three pairs um, of gloves, okay? And my hands are clean because I, I wash my hands beforehand. Um, but that's what you can do, right? And then just like for any other skills, let's say you're, you know, uh, ambulation, well, give them a gate belt, you know, give them a gate belt and a hospital gown. And if you don't have enough supplies, uh, you know, to give everyone a hospital gown and a gate belt, just do a certain amount of students um, each time, you know, maybe five students here, six students here, or 10 students you know, at a time, let them uh, keep the supplies for a couple of uh, days and then have them evaluate them and then have them to bring it back, you know, drop it off, do a drive-by drop-off, right? You sanitize all the uh, supplies and then you reissue them to another group of students, right? So just a little tip that I hope that you can use um, you know, with this virtual training, it's, um, you know, new to a lot of folks, right? 
Um, and a lot of times, you know, you don't know what to do, especially when it comes to manual skills. You know, how are my students going to practice? How am I going to demonstrate these skills with them? Well, I mean, that's sort of, you know, easy because you can record yourself and demonstrate, right? How are my students going to re-demonstrate and how am I going to evaluate them? This is it. Just package them up some supplies using your uh, lab supplies. Um, it's going to cost you much, much less than uh, the 69 70 something odd dollars uh, you would pay uh, to purchase a little kit um, through CNA. I think it's for, for your CNA or something like that, right? Right? So you can just use your own supplies that you have. Um, and so that's it. That's my tip for uh, virtual learning today, okay, when it comes to manual skills. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope y'all can use this idea. Thank you. Ciao.